Why is it so hard to get others to go low carb? Hey there, njroot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about getting others to go low carb. Some of you who might watch this channel may already know, understand that our life has completely improved dramatically. We want to share that information with others. But anybody that has gone down this path probably knows some um, horror stories in terms of how hard it was and possibly still is. And we wonder why it's so difficult. It's obvious that the mainstream diet is powerfully addictive. You know, all the sandwiches, fast food, and all this other stuff. And uh, we conclude that it's sugar and carbs that are, are the uh, culprit here. And probably some other uh, artificial ingredients and seasonings such as MSG and other addictive agents. I'm wondering, you know, uh, we found the hack, so to say. But the breakthrough wasn't really all that simple. I mean, we knew, I mean, through all the books we read that sugar was no good. But we didn't just get it after reading a chapter in a book. We sort of kind of, you know, when I look back at it, I had to go and make the mistakes over and over for it to really, really sink in. And then after years of experimentation and trial and error, we, we just basically concluded, it's like you, your whole low-carb uh, carnivore diet can be broken down into one sentence. Don't raise your blood sugar levels, ever. There's no excuse. It doesn't matter if it's gluten-free. It doesn't matter about any of this stuff. I just don't understand why, you know, like people always want to say, oh, here's your uh, low-carb pizza. Here's like, you're always trying to replace those those addictive foods you ate in the past. But I have to say, it's, it's definitely up to the individual. You have to find your own way. I mean, I can tell you over and over, don't raise your blood sugars. You won't believe it until you realize, like let's say you, did a, you had a good streak for three months and then you had a cheat and then you realize how bad you feel or how fast you gain weight. And channels like this, we, we get hardly any subscribers, but then you know every now and then a popular celebrity or YouTube personality will uh, endorse low carbs such as Jordan Peterson. And then the movement overall gets a little more traction. It's not as much as you would think. I guess in the end, you know, when you're popular and you come up, uh, you embrace a good idea, it's good for all of us. Um, and then it'll help people recognize the little guys like us, you know, more seriously. I, there's strength in numbers, so to say, but uh, you have to figure it out on your own. Encourage other people to figure it out as well and, and simplify it for them if possible. If you like this video, hit the bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.